Hi, Creek Spielers. It's Umpire Lafondios. I want to talk today about the Leaders Reconnaissance, or Leaders Recon for short. What is a Leaders Reconnaissance? A Leaders Recon is where a group is about to make an attack, and the leader before the attack will go out and actually rec recon the area to check to make sure that what is shown on the map is actually what reality looks like in order to discover any problems. So here's an example of a conf group with uh, infantry and some artillery. They're going to conduct an attack uh, across to the, uh, the blue forces on the other side of the map. And you see the conf group uh, commander, the leader, is going to actually go out on his own, perhaps with a, an aide or a helper, and go up to the high ground where the diamond is, uh, in the triangle is and, and try to use that vantage point to look at the ground where the attack is going to take place, to look for positions and different uh, obstacles that his attack might run into. And this is really kind of a boots on the ground view of the situation. This is a leader's reconnaissance. It's not meant to get in, you know, the leader in danger. It's not meant to do anything other than have the leader have more of a fingertip feel for the attack. So in FM uh, Field Manual 7-92 on reconnaissance, the leader's reconnaissance is defined this way. Determine if your plan needs to be modified by checking the terrain features, observing positions, and determine the enemy situation as much as possible. So this is not a reconnaissance in force where you're going out and actually attacking the enemy. This is you're going to go look and see if you can determine the terrain, positions and routes for your folks in the enemy situation for the other side. So the best way to look at uh, an example of this is to not look at the present, let's look at the past. So uh, here's a, an example from the U.S. Civil War. It uh, was from a book that you see on the right called The Dignity of Duty by Erasmus Corwin Gilbraith. And he was uh, started as a lieutenant, worked his way up, and he, and he breveted to colonel by the end of the war. But he gave an example of where he was with his regiment, and he was a company commander, and the regimental commander, who was a lieutenant and a colonel, came down because he was a trusted member of the, of the command group, and he said, let's do a leader's reconnaissance for attack and against the Confederates that was going to occur the following day. So what they did was, uh, Erasmus took one side of the attack, and the commander took the other side, and they literally walked the ground. They were looking for two things. They were looking for the lay of the land, and how if, they, if there were any obstacles that would break up the formation. And they were looking at each other to make sure they could see each other across the whole line so that they knew where they could position themselves uh, to best control the attack the next morning. So this was a, a, a leader's reconnaissance back in 1863. Uh, now in this case, in the story, he got all the way up to the woods and uh, um, a, a, a voice called out to him saying, hey, Yank, if you come any further, you're going to spend the night in Richmond. Uh, so he knew that he had actually gone too far. And in fact, as soon as the pickets realized that there was a colonel on the other side, they realized that actually that this was a leader's reconnaissance and that the uh, Union was preparing for an attack. And so the pickets began firing on them. And both he and the lieutenant colonel ran back to their lines, and they both escaped unharmed. So that's an example of a very specific leaders reconnaissance that occurred in 1863. So this is something that has been used uh, uh, throughout history as a way to prepare for an attack. So in terms of Creekspiel, uh, here's an example of a game that's ongoing now, so I've obscured it a little bit, but uh, I'm a brigade commander in this game, and I have my regiments, and in this case, due to the circumstances, the screenshots are very tight. There's not a lot of information, and, and I was engaged with some enemy, and the enemy just kind of disappeared not in the screenshot, and I knew that I had to find out a little bit more information um, because all I could really see was my own soldiers. So this is the exact order that I wrote into my channel. I said I'd taken aid and right forward carefully on a leader's reconnaissance specifically to see what's happening with the enemy, their direction of march and situation. So I'm doing two things there. I'm telling the umpire that I'm moving forward of my line and I put the word carefully, very specifically, to tell the umpire I'm not going to go blundering out there trying to get shot. I'm going to move forward enough so I can see the enemy and I'm going to be careful. So this helps the umpire see that my intent is just go look uh, and, and kind of sneak up there a bit and, and have a look. So you know, hopefully that will keep me out of danger and uh, 
uh, and I'll be able to determine what's happening with the enemy. So that's a, it's how to use Lear's reconnaissance in Kriegspiel. So I hope this uh, uh, helped you um, understand how to use Lear's reconnaissance in Kriegspiel, what it is, and some examples of it. And uh, this, it's a very effective tool when our screenshots are very tight and we want to look a little bit more. You can position yourself for the lines a little bit carefully to see a little bit further. Hope that helps. Uh, we'll uh, see you out on the board. Thanks so much.